Hi, welcome back. Today we are going on a trip to Florida Predators at Lake Apopka. The Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive is located not far from us. We will drive along the lake today. Along the tour, you will hear a lot of interesting information about this huge area and its fauna. Join us, let's explore the realm of predators together. If you like what you see, give it a like. If you've already been to this area, tell us how it was in the comments. If you know a similar area, write a few words about it. Maybe we can look at it next time. Please subscribe to help our job. But let's get going. Let the trip begin. Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. The Lake Apopka North Shore is a true diamond in the rough. The restoration of former muck farms has transformed this area into a haven for wildlife and a jewel for the recreating public. The 20,000 acres that make up the Lake Apopka North Shore were once part of the lake itself. However, these valuable wetlands were separated from the lake in 1941 by a large levee. This decreased the size of Lake Apopka from more than 50,000 acres to just over 30,000 acres. Lake Apopka is the state's fourth largest lake and is fed by a natural spring, rainfall, and stormwater runoff. The headwaters of the Oklawaha chain of lakes, the lake was designated for cleanup under the Surface Water Improvement and Management Act of 1987. The Lake Apopka Loop Trail follows the lake's edge through the property, covering more than 20 miles and providing hiking and biking opportunities. The Loop Trail is expected to circumnavigate Lake Apopka in the future, but is currently an out and back trail traversing the northern half of the lake. The North Shore property also has a marked white trail suitable for hiking, biking and horseback riding, six mile loop on Clay Island with four observation towers, including one overlooking the west shoreline of Lake Apopka. You'll find an additional 2.6 miles trails, the Red Trail, for biking, hiking and horseback riding. One of the special highlights of this property is the Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive. The drive is a one-way, 11-mile drive meandering through the eastern portion of the property. It begins at Lust Road and ends on Jones Avenue in Orange County, Flawed. The drive takes one, three hours, depending on the usage and how many stops visitors choose to make along the way. The speed limit is 10 miles per hour and the maximum vehicle length is 25 feet, no trailers allowed. A few restrooms and picnic pavilion are available on the property, but there is no drinking water provided. Dogs are allowed, but must always be leashed. Stopping is limited to designated pullouts provided along the length of the drive. A portion of the drive intersects with a multi-use trail and visitors are encouraged to carefully watch for hikers, bicycle riders, and other users who share the road. Wildlife Viewing Please respect Florida's wildlife and use caution while visiting district lands. These are wild animals. For your safety, do not approach or feed any wild animal. Lake Apopka North Shore offers extraordinary bird watching opportunities. It is one of the top birding areas for the entire state. The Lake Apopka North Shore is considered one of the most renowned birding destinations in Florida, with 377 different bird species recorded on the property. Visitors to the property are surprised by rare bird sighting nearly every year. During the winter months, more than 150 species regularly use the property, from showy herons and egrets to numerous tiny warblers and flycatchers. Other wildlife routinely seen include numerous American alligators, bobcats, otters, bears, raccoons, armadillos, and coyotes. The Lake Apopka Wildlife Drive entrance gate is open for vehicular traffic between 7 a.m. and 3 p.m. on Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, and federal holidays. All vehicles must exit the drive by 5 p.m. Florida's fourth largest lake was once a world-class bass fishery, Central Florida's original tourist attraction. In recent years, the district and its partners have been writing a new chapter in Lake Apopka's story, a story about nature's resiliency and recovery. The large building on the shore is called the Pump House. The Pump House was originally used by farmers in the 1940s to drain the North Shore. In addition to maintaining the wetlands water levels, the pump stations are a component of a larger water treatment system in which a chemical called aluminum sulfate, or alum for short, can be added into the water at the Unit 2 basin. The addition of alum helps improve the water quality by binding to things like dirt and sediment and making phosphorus unavailable to the algae, which helps prevent algal blooms. Alligator Population 
In addition to the abundance of birds, there are also mammals, including bobcats, coyotes, raccoons, armadillos, rats, mice, otters, and occasionally hogs and bears on the property. There are also a great number of amphibians, including frogs, toads, salamanders, and the eel-looking amphiumas. Additionally, many reptiles call this place home, turtles, lizards, and snakes. The most common type of snake you'll see is a water snake, either the banded water snake or brown or green water snake. These are all non-venomous snakes. And then there's everyone's favorite reptile, the alligator. Alligators play an important role in the ecosystem as top predators. Because of the abundance of prey on the North Shore, there is an abundance of alligators here as well. Visitors to the North Shore usually have a lot of alligator questions, the most common being how big can they get? Well, Florida's state record is 14 feet, 3 and a half inches. The diversity of wildlife you will witness is evidence of an active food chain, where birds eat fish and mature alligators are the top predator. To ensure you are safe around these ancient top predators, respect them from afar. Alligators do not naturally prey on people, but you should always be careful. So if you want a close-up photo, we recommend using a long camera lens. Do not walk dogs near the water's edge and keep children at a safe distance as well. Most importantly, never feed wildlife, especially an alligator, not even a small one, because feeding them causes alligators to associate people with food. Thank you for traveling with us. I hope you liked what you saw, if so don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to your feedback in the comments and your idea of where to go next. Have a wonderful day, we'll be back. Now here I leave you a few minutes of video, in which I will not talk. Enjoy the wonderful place as we did. So that I could not forget mm. Pink azaleas by your driveway Shade our leisurely goodbyes In your terry cotton sweater With your arms sweeping the sky It was then I had a knowing You were waving till the bend I keep this folded at the corner So that I could not forget So that I could not forget trees and smoke mm -hmm. carve like lovers and a driftwood on this moment I depend I keep this folded at the corner so that I could not forget folded at the corner so that I So that I could not forget
Thank you for traveling with us. I hope you liked what you saw. If so, don't forget to like and subscribe. I look forward to your feedback in the comments and your idea of where to go next. Have a wonderful day. We'll be back.